Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Vintage Vinny. For those of you watching the replay, I am an avid thrifter, hoarder, collector of cool vintage finds. I also sell on Amazon, but I mainly share vintage items on my channel, hence the name Vintage Vinny. So I'm not going to share a lot of items with this sale. It's going to be a rather smaller sale today because Pamela Blanchard's sale is at 8, and I want to try to at least run 15 minutes before hers starts so that way you guys have a break to do whatever it is that you need to do, get a drink, get dinner, or whatever. So what I'm going to be doing is... Oh, my voice is... Uh, oh. So I am a lot more prepared this go-around than I was my last sale, so that's a good thing. So who do we got in the chat so far? So we've got Elderly Poodle. Oh, that was me responding to that. We've got Chantilly Chandra. We've got Little Vintage Me. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming on. Got Grace 2010H. Who else do we got? For some more people. Oh, we've got Brickhouse Salvage and Antique, Steve. Oh, I hope I don't butcher this name. Steve Forgax, Forjax, Forjax is probably correct. And then we've got Karen's Vintage and More. We got Carolyn Gatles. Raylan Astorga, that sounds new. Welcome aboard. Daddy, are you a wrenchy on here? So my dad is, um, I'll go over that all, that, all that stuff in a second. Oh, thank you, Chandra. You got Pam's Eclectic Place. Bemos Mercantile. So is it is it Forjax or Forgax? Hi Judy, thank you all for coming on. Lois Hoover, that's a new name to me. Welcome aboard. Okay, so mom and dad are both on here. So mom and let me scroll up. And there's dad. I think I made the moderators. I can't tell from here. I don't have my phone with me. I left it in the other room because I didn't want to get distracted. But I did make them moderators for this channel. So if you have any questions, you can see them. Hi, Hemlock Lady. All right. So we're about two minutes in or two minutes away from starting the sale. So let's go ahead. Forgash. Okay. Spelled weird, not weirdly, spelled differently, but darn. Well, now I know for the next time, Steve Forgash. Now I know. See, I'm one of those people that will actually pronounce something the way it's spelled. So that's why I thought it was Forgax or Forjax. Hi, Christina Postcards and Patina. That's another new name for me. We've got Cindy Lou Who's Thrifted Treasures. Welcome aboard. Oh, I haven't seen Daisy in a while. Hi, Daisy. Thanks for coming on. All right. So we're about a minute away from starting here. So let's go ahead and we'll go over the rules. Oh, great, elderly poodle. That's awesome. So make sure that you all's chats are set to live and not to top so you get the most accurate results from the sale. Make sure you comment the number of the item you want to purchase in the chat. It's a first come, first serve basis. So the first person that Mystic Mom or Salty Croc Collectibles see in the chat that claims an item is the one who gets it. All internet speeds vary, and this kind of ties into what I was saying before. So just look for Mystic Mom or Salty Croc Collectibles if you have any questions regarding your status of item claimancy. Is that even a word? I don't know. So be mindful of your location, either in the U.S. or Canada, because if I'm shipping to Texas or to California, it can be really expensive. I know to ship a first-class item to Canada is probably like 10 or 11 bucks, which is absolutely ridiculous because shipping into the U.S. from Canada is cheaper than having it go from the U.S. to Canada. Why that is, I don't know. So please email me at skullking95680 at yahoo.com within 48 hours of the sale. It is linked in the description box below, so if you need to get a hold of me, you can. So make sure that in your email, you include the following, your shipping address and the email you would like your invoice to be sent to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. 
I think there might be something going on with StreamYard because it's not exactly up to date with the chat and everything. I don't. I know Patrick was having some issues with, with, with that the other day. We got Terry and eclectic this and that in here. Thanks for coming on. So I've got quite a bit of things to share with you all. Lisa, Carl, I'm in Maryland. I forgot to mention that, didn't I? <laughs> well, at least I'm a little bit more prepared than I was the last time. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? What's a pick, what's a pick? Okay. Let me take the tag off of here so that way nobody cheats. So I've just shared this recently. It's a fisherman's hat um, planter. I think this is made by Ralp, not a Ralpo, like Inesco or Napco. It's really cool. Definitely a guy's item. And if you love have someone in your life that likes outdoorsy type items, this would be great for them. There is some paint wear, as you can see, but I do not see any cracks or chips. I don't even see crazing on this thing, just paint loss. I think it's really cool. Oh, Katie's in the house. High vintage and vinyl. So yeah, in good shape, no cracks or chips. And this piece is going to be $8.00. $8 for number 89. This would be a great little, I mean, not even a dresser caddy, but just something fun to put your pens in, or I don't know if you want to put it in the bathroom. That'd be a neat little piece to put it in, put it. So yeah, $8, number 89 for that. Is that focusing? All right, so... Next item that I'd like to share with you all are these really cute squirrel salt and pepper shakers. You probably saw this in my um, sale preview that I uploaded, what, not even 24 hours ago. <laughs> I was really unprepared this week. So we've got these cute little squirrels. This one's on all four. It's not even focus well. I know this camera and this computer is awful. So we got this guy here, and then we've got this one right here. So for the set here, it's going to be $10. $10, and those can be yours by giving number 25. So number 25 for the squirrel salt and pepper shakers. And they do have a mark of Japan, and I think both of them have their corks, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. All righty. This is a really nice paperweight. I don't know if that's a defect or what. It's one of those bird it's clear glass paperweights. It has a mark for Fenton right there. No cracks or chips. It's got this, I don't know if that was a manufacturer flaw or what that is right there on the, what's it called? Like right there, you can see it, that little line right there. Don't know what that is. But yeah, overall it's in good shape. No cracks or chips or rough areas on it. This paperweight is $12. And it is number 49. So number 49 gets you the Fenton Bird paperweight. Wow, this thing is really, really not focused. Hi, all my vintage. Michelle at Mermaid Cove is in the, the house. Side Street Market. Superior Girl Vintage, I see you too. So yeah, 12 bucks for the Fenton Bird uh, paperweight. Oh, gosh. Okay. 
So a lot of you all seem to take interest in this. Let me just take the tag off of it. It's that Revere Manufacturing Poodle Earring Holder. It does have some paint loss on the front of it, as you can see. Man, I wish this thing would focus better. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that over and over again until I get a new computer because this one is just ancient and I've done so much damage to it. But anyway, you get the idea. It does have the Revere Manufacturing stamp on the back right there. I swear this camera. <laughs> but I swear, I'm, I'm sure it's there. <laughs> So for this cute little poodle, which I think is probably from the 70s or the 80s, you can have it for $10 and it is number 14. So number 14 gets you the poodle earring holder. Oh, I was Nate in the house and I saw Greg too. Hello all. All right, running with um, the theme of kitschiness, I've got this ashtray. It's got a butterfly on it, and it's marked Japan on the back of it. I would date this to probably the 60s or the 70s. The only real issue with it is that little, actually, it's not even, well, I guess you could say it's little. Chippy Whippy right there. Yeah, there we go. I was thinking that, Katie, for uh, Michelle, um, uh, Comfy Cozy Living. So yeah, I thought that was really neat and I know somebody would probably like that. So despite the little flaw there, this will be $10 and it is number 32. You could put this in it or you could throw your loose change in it if it's sitting on a table. So 10 bucks for number 32 for the really awesome boho butterfly ashtray. Show that one more time. I do want to try to quick, we're 12 minutes in because Pamela's sale is at eight. I don't know if I mentioned that to you all or not. So. Moving right along. All right, we got these really cute little poodles here. Two, it's a set of two. No, Michelle, I, my camera just this computer does not have very good connections anymore. There we go. Sorry about that. So I've been having some problems. Here we go. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for coming on. So I got to be really careful with what I said on this computer because my connections are horrible. So this poodle is standing on two legs or on its hind legs. Then the other There we go, back. So this poodle is on all four of its legs. No cracks or chips on either of them. They're both very, very cute. They do have a mark, at least this, oh, this one has it too. I didn't even realize that. Both have a mark for Japan on them. As you can see right there, Japan. And this one, the Japan stamp is on the, uh, Paw. So, set of poodles is fourteen dollars. So you get two of them for fourteen bucks. So that's a, that's seven bucks a piece, and they can be yours for number eight. So fourteen bucks for the two poodles, number eight.
All righty. I've got a planter here, and I know a lot of you like the planters. Look at this one. Isn't he adorable? I don't know what kind of dog he is, though. And he did have a Made in Japan sticker on the bottom of him, but unfortunately, it was torn off with tape because I'm an idiot. Not Pamela, I promise you, I want to give people at least a 15 minute window to just take a break and do what they need to do. So I'm going to try not to go too long. I, I appreciate it though. So yeah, he's really cute. And where did that, oh, here it is. I forgot I wrote a sticky note. I got you, Pamela. If I do go over, I appreciate it. So yep. So this cute little planter here, um, I don't see any, yeah, I'm giving him the test. He doesn't have any cracks in him, and I don't see any repairs or anything on him. Only problem is, is he's doity. Got lots of dirt in him. And that's not even considering what I already took out of it. So this cute little doggy planter is $14 and you can have it for seven, number 76. So just comment number 76 if you would like the cute little dog planter for $14. If you want me to, I'll clean it out better than what I already have it. And what's already in there, I'll, I'll clean it <laughs> if you want me to. All right. So. Oh, I'm gonna take the price off that. So this is that thimble jar that I was sharing with you all. It looks like this. It's got, I think, roses along the bottom. It does have gold on it, and there's a little bit of wear to it. Overall, it's in good shape. This is made by the House of Webster. That mark is extremely faint on there as you can see. But it does say House of Webster on it. No cracks or chips. It's in very, very good condition for its age. And this can be yours for $15 and $15 number 70. $15 number 70 for the really cool thimble jar. It's not very heavy. And it's not very big, but it is still a very nice piece. And if you are a sewer or just a lover of thimbles, this would be great for your, uh, or you could put coffee or sugar in it for your kitchen. If that's your taste. So $15, number 70. So this is really, really cute. Yeah, you could put thread in there, Christina. I, I don't uh, disagree with that one. So I got this not that long ago in one of my hauls. It's one of those Inesco bird figurines. This just doesn't do it justice. Hi, Southern Mermaid, I see you there. Overall, this piece is in very good shape, however, on the tail. I don't know if it's going to show or not. Like right, let me see if I can point to it. Right, like right here, there's like a little spot where I guess a little bit of damage. But the flowers are in very good condition and overall paint is in really good shape on there, on it. And it does have the Inesco mark on it. Yeah, Oreo and then there's the Inesco Japan foil label. So this piece is $18 and it is number four. So the Oreo figurine is $18 and you can have that for number four. So I thought of D over at the Thrill of the Thrift with these. 
It's a sugar and creamer set, and I definitely think this appeals to the farmhouse look because it's got that weaved pattern on it. It does say Japan on it. And this one's for cream. And this one has got a, I guess it's either a hen or a chicken on the top of it. And it says sugar on the leaf. That too also has a mark for Japan on it. I look very serious today, Blue Feather. <laughs> I'm just tired. I just got off of work an hour ago. So I'm, I didn't really have much time to settle in. I wish I did, but it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, so this is a really nice set. Um, oh, I forgot to mention if there's any cracks or chips and I do not see anything as far as I'm concerned with them. Again, definitely appeals to the farmhouse look. And I know that's really popular right now. And the set is going to be $12. And $12 will get you this really nice set. And you can have them for giving number 22. So number 22 gets you the cream and sugar set that's very farmhousey. Oh, is Cindy in the house? Hi, Cindy. So yeah, 12 bucks, number 22 for those. All righty. So these were really, really cute and I couldn't resist them when I was at the thrift and I saw them. So do I have any cat lovers in here? I hope so, because I've got some kittens that I think you guys might really adore. Be careful my computer doesn't go out again. So this is the first cat. It's going to be a set of three of them. This one's holding a white ball of yarn, and he's got minor paint loss to him due to age. These are made by Inesco. So there's the foil Inesco imports stamp. So that's the first one. Now the yarn is a little loose on that one, I will admit. And this one is blue and oh my gosh, what the heck happened to him? It looks like he was bowling around in some mud, but I guess not. So that one's got a little bit of, of scuffing right there, which I think will come out. And this one, oh, this one does not have the UNESCO stamp on the bottom, but it is because the other ones are. This one has it. So those are really, really adorable, and those will be an easy shipper. I'm sure that's probably not going to go higher than what first class would cost. So they are very, very cute, the three of them. See if I can get them all to share at one time. Yeah, aren't those adorable? If you're a cat lover or if you have cats, this would be a great little set for you. So this set of kittens is $15. <clears throat> Excuse me. So $15 for number 37 for the cat trio. I'll just show this sticker. So I've had this, I think I um, bought this like around the first trip we took to the flea market. And it's a piece of ephemera. It's for new bone, new bond, um, I think girdles or something like that. So here's the front. It's very deco looking. I just, I couldn't resist the graphics on it. It's just got such neat images in it. it does have some water damage as you can see up here. And I will go ahead and open this up so you guys can see it. I'll try to open it up by page so you guys can see it. So this is the first, when you first open it up. I don't know, would you all consider this saucy because of what it's advertising? 
Smooth beauty of silhouette with easy, graceful comfort. I guess it's the fold-out pamphlet. I forgot about that. So this is what it looks like. Oh, nay. Ha, ha, ha. Just look, look at the images on here. I mean, this is just incredible. If you wanted to frame this, or if you wanted to, or if you just collect stuff like this. Oh, it looks like this may have been sent to somebody. And you can definitely tell this has age to it. Oh, this is before women had their own like credit cards and stuff like that. Names on their credit cards, that is, because look, look at the name on here. Mrs. Donald Roth in Richland, PA. Telephone Friptown 28-R-2. Like this definitely has got some age to it. I would guess probably the 20s or the 30s, just judging by the look of that. So this awesome piece of ephemera can be yours for five bucks. So five dollars, number 54. So that awesome piece of paper ephemera can be yours for five dollars, number 54. I actually bought two of them, Michelle, so I kept the other one, and I still have it. It's got such great images on it. I just, I, I love it. I love it so much. And that's why I kept the other one. And I thought maybe you guys would like this one. Okay. All right, so now we're going to get into the uh, linens that I mentioned. So like I said, it's not a very big sale. I mean, we were in 27 minutes, so I didn't want to run too long. So I did drop the prices on these because they didn't sell the last time. Well, they did, and then um, the buyer who bought the one actually, um, I guess, had asthma. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want her uh, asthma to kick up because of something that she bought for me. So that tea set from the, I guess this is 50s, 60s, maybe even 70s. But judging by the... Um, foil thing right here that they probably dates to the 50s or 60s. It's in the original box and there is a slight tear in the seal right here. And it does kind of have like a musty smell to it. I mean, again, it's vintage. So it's definitely got some age. Let me see how bad the smell is. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, these are definitely gonna need to be washed because they uh, of course have been sitting in the same packaging for decades. And I hope whoever buys these gets a lot of great use out of them. So I did drop the price, like I mentioned, and I'm hoping that they find a great home. So this set is going to be $28, and it is number 21 for the really nice floral shabby chic tea set. Oh, I forgot to mention what was in here. It's a five-piece set. It's got it's uh, one rayon cloth, which are 45 by 45, and then, oh, it's by Carol Creations. So $28, number 21, gets you the really nice new old stock tier. That's a new name to me, Robin Summers. Welcome aboard, and thanks for joining me, if this is your first time. Oh, we got Tina just popped in. Hi, Tina. Thanks for coming on. Okay. All right. So the last item, like I said, this was a short show. And it's the last set that didn't sell the last time. That I just, I'm having word vomit today. So it's that Majestic Creations. Oh, wow. I just, oh, never mind. That was from something else. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So this is the last set that didn't sell the last time. It's the Majestic Creations tablecloth, new and sealed. It's got a 52 by 70 tablecloth in there and it's got six napkins 
all rayon and is washable. If the label will show up this time. There we go. So this set, and it's got some kind of like floral embroidery on it. Right there. But what's nice is, as it mentions on here, you can wash it. So this set will be 30 bucks, and I just completely dropped the price tag for it. So I wrote 35 on it, but I want to drop it down to 30. And if it doesn't sell this time, I'll just list them on eBay. So $30 for this one, and it's number 21. So 30 bucks for this really awesome new old stock set of linens. And can be yours for 30 for a number 21. So yeah. So mom or dad, can one of you tell me what didn't sell this go around so that way we can come back to it? Because I want to try to end at like 35, 36. I can understand that, Michelle. I mean, we, heck, I don't even trust myself with white because if I do, <laughs> I get it dirty. So just let me know what we didn't sell this go around and I will reshow it. I can't remember. Putting everything. Um. Oh, mom is making the list now. Okay. So I didn't share a lot because, like I said, I just. So number 3270, number 422, and number 21. All right, so let's see. Let me just look and see what we've got here. So number 32 was the butterfly ashtray. I would be willing to do, how about $8 for number 32? So if you want number 32 for $8, just comment the number. All right. All right, so show this and one more item that didn't sell and we will just go ahead and end it there. So I did originally have 18 on number four. How about $15? So if you would like number four for $15, leave it in the comments. Oh, number 89 also? Okay. to not move all right and this will be the last item that I share if it didn't sell so that creamer and sugar set was 12 so how about ten dollars comment number 22 for ten dollars if you want those
All right, everyone, we're at the 35 minute mark. So we're gonna go ahead and end it here. I wanna thank you all for stopping in. I hope to see you all on Pamela's sale. So yeah, like I said, it wasn't a very big sale today. I can't just run and share a bunch of items because I have to make sure I can still manage it while working full time. So thank you all for popping on and I will hopefully have your stuff out within the next week. Tina, don't stress it. It's all right. I understand. We've all got stuff we got to do. So if you all liked this sale, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when I post new videos. I've been trying to get out at least two or three a week, but I'm trying my hardest to uh, make sure I keep my sanity levels and my stress levels low while still trying to have fun doing these sales. So I will see you all over on Pamela's sale. It starts at 8 o'clock and enjoy the rest of your day and happy picking. Take care all. Bye.